Good morning. Happy Easter. He has risen from the dead and he is Lord. Isn't it wonderful? The never changing God, the God that was the same yesterday, today, and for forever, the Son of God, God himself came down to this earth and became a man just like you and I, so he I could identify with all what we go through. He went through 33 years of his life here on this earth, yet without sin, completely 100% here for you and for me, to give himself as a living sacrifice on the cross as the ultimate sacrifice for our sin and today he has risen from the dead this represents the day today this easter sunday represents the day that jesus rose from the dead the bible says that the same spirit the same spirit that raised christ from the dead dwells inside of you he dwells inside of me and he will quicken your mortal body today. He will give you the power over sin. He will give you power over sickness. He will give you power over disease today. And I want you to know today, as we stand in his presence, we are here because of him. If you're not going to church this morning, you're, you have, you're, you're at home, even if you can't go, I want you to know that today that, that Jesus is still part of your life and he wants to be more part of your life today. Nous-mêmes, quand nous avons en Haïti aujourd'hui, là, moi, salve nous, aujourd'hui, là, c'est le jour le Seigneur t'a fait, mais pour qui ça n'a pas réjoui, parce que aujourd'hui, il a représenté jour par là, jour que le Seigneur Jésus t'a ressuscité, sorti, <coughs> vivant dans l'amour. Et puis aujourd'hui, il est vivant, il n'est pas mort, il est vivant. Et nous avons célébré aujourd'hui, la vie qui en Christ Jodi la même si ou même ou pa ka ale l'église peut-être ou même ou la ka ou ap gade écran ou, ou gen doit pa gen assez rad ou soit soulié ou poko bon moi même comprendre ça mais moi même ta reme ou konnen même si ou pa ale l'église matin même si ou pa capable ale l'église le seigneur Jésus avec ou et présence le seigneur Jésus avec ou et puis ou même ou pa ou pa yon moun ki moins que yon lòt moun ou se yon moun ki nan menm nivou avek tout moun ki an kris. Paske ou apsevi l wa de wa, le senyor de senyor. Bon dieu nan siel, se di menm ki bou jwenn tout louan jodi la. Epi kris reme ou jodi la. E bwen menm, mwen reme ou tou, se pou sa nap gade nan la Bible. Jodi la, nap gade, nap etudye, nap apren. Ki sa bon dieu vle pou nou kopren? Paske li pa mwen li vivant et puis jodi la mwen la pou m kap priye pou nou pou bon dieu kapab fe nou konn sa et puis god jodi la n ap gade n ap gade jodi la na lik 24 lik 24 et puis nou va wè na premier jour na semaine nan sa vle di jezi te gen tan mouri li te gen tan enterré na tombe nan et puis an pile moun pe di espoir an pile moun konprann ke yo touye petit bon dieu yo kounye la pa gen espoir an gwo pa gen la vi pa gen espoir an pil nan disipli yo te al kache yo te nan krenti ke yo tap mouri tou yo pa konnen et pi yo 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 pa konprann men bon bagay ki fèt la ki fè nou kapab la jodi la li pa mouri li vivan et pi n'ap gade sa istwa sa nan la bible pou nou kapab konprann biblikman ki sa ki te fèt nan jou jodi la ki nou reprezante nan jou pak la Et puis il dit comme ça dans 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 na Luc 24 il dit verset premier na premier jour bon bon garder bible cru là plutôt na mes premier jour semaine là bien bonheur mesdames yo à quelques autres monde te guerre avec yo te aller na tombe là yo te porter parfum tout préparé et puis yo joine yo tout déjà ou les wash la sorti devant tombe là le yo entré yo pas joine corps seigneur Jésus Bagay la ta bouleversé yo et puis comme ça trouvé des des hommes parés devant yo ak rad clairé sou yo la pèrez prend moun yo li bès la pèrez prend moun yo bès tête yo a terre et puis monsieur yo di yo monsieur yo di yo pou ki n'a chèche pa memo yo si la ki vivant <coughs> 
Pour qui ça n'a cherché pas mes moyens, si là qui vivant. <coughs> li pas ici, au contraire, li ressuscité. Songez qui Jean l'été parlé avec nous na na l'été na Galilée. L'été dit faut yo livrer petit l'homme non pour même péché yo. Faut yo crucifier et puis na tant trois jours yo faut li ressuscité. Comme ça, yo vinn songer parole Jésus yo. Li les mesdames yo retourné sorti na tombe non, yo rapporté tout bagay by 11 ak lotio ak munyo. Mesdames yo ki te apporte bagay sa yo, tete Marie, moun Magdala, Jean, Marie, Maman Jack ak res mesdames ki te avec yo. Na verset 11 kon sa n ap gade na Luc 24 jo di la. Na verset 11 li di men apot yo pa te kwè. D'après yo même parole mesdames yo te paret tan kou cause cause sans sens. Men pie Levé. Li koui, li al jou, na tom nan, li koube, li, tu, li wè twa la, rassemble pou kont li, et pi li al la kaye li, amba sezizman, a kouz de sa te pase. Jodye la, li pa mouri, li vivan, et pi jodye la, la celebre sa, sa se jou pak la, jodye la, sa se sa jou sa, dimash sa, jodye la, reprezante jou, Jésus te resuscite, Soti, vivant dans la mort. Et puis, ou même qui chrétien, ou même qui naît de nouveau dans le Saint-Esprit de Dieu, ou même qui compte Jésus comme sauveur personnel, ou, moi capable de pagner la mort pour vous. Vous pouvez détruire le corps, vous pouvez capable de tout le corps, vous pouvez briller, vous pouvez faire ça et vous avec nous. Mais le corps, nous, son, son temple qui est temporaire. Ça veut dire son bagage qui parle là pour l'éternité. La Bible dit comme ça, nous sortons dans la poussière. Et puis n'a retourné na même poussière ça un jour mais yo pas ka touyer nan nan yo pas ka attaquer ça que nous gagne dans Jésus ou un membre de gang gagne doit kembe yo yo gagne doit kidnapper yo yo gagne doit ba au calot yo gagne doit faire ça ou vle sous corps mais corps ça c'est temple cet esprit de Dieu premier bagage n'a fait n'a prier pour mon ça yo parce que li pi mal pour yo Pour yon, au lieu de yon marre, yon petit bon Dieu, que yon marre, yon bloc sous pied, yon lag yon dans la mer. La Bible dit ça tout. Nous besoin pour yon pour grâce, sou ne gang sa yon jodi la. Et puis ou même tout jodi la, sou son mom de gang, ou habitué pote zam nan men ou, ou pote, ou, ou habitué fe sak pa bon, bon m'dou m'bagay, ou pa bjam satisfait, ou pa bjam gen contentement nan keur. Même j'en on sentit ou ken ou go poa, pou voa sou, ou go puissant sou, parce que ou gen go zam sa. Mais bonjour, on a besoin de camper devant bon Dieu oui. Et puis ça ça pas prend fond rien pour. On pas ca tirer sur bon Dieu non. On pas ca tirer sur monde. Wap là. Et puis m'a dit aujourd'hui là. Le Seigneur voulait pas là avec au matin, il remet. Il voulait pour capable accepter lui comme sauveur personnel. Aujourd'hui là, on capable connait Jésus ça. Seulement longer la foi. Parle avec lui. Priez comme ça, dit Seigneur. Moi fait un pile péché. Pardonnez péché mio. Entrez dans la vie moi. Et moi ba louange pour ça. Dans le nom de Jésus. Amen. Et quand ça pour prier pour accepter Jésus comme sauveur oui? ou même qui la ca au matin qui pour qu'on calle l'église, le Seigneur remet. Je dis la représenter jour que le ressuscité sorti dans la mort. Je dis la Christ vivant. Et puis les vivants pour eux-mêmes, pour les mêmes qui vivent là où espoir de gloire, Jésus ça vive là où je dis là, les remet en pile en pile en pile. Nous, this morning we've been looking in Luke chapter 24. For those of you the English speaking audience, I want you to know that today, as you know, is Easter Sunday. Happy Easter! But I want you to know that today represents the day that he rose from the dead. And this is important because the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells inside of you. He dwells inside of us, all of us that are born again of his spirit that know him as our personal savior. This morning he has risen and that spirit that quickens us, that quickens our mortal body. He is our healer. He is our provider. He is our everything. He is our all. 
today are all in all Jesus, the Son of God, today that rose from the dead. I'd like to read this this morning. We've heard it before. It's very important to understand this and have the revelation of the risen Christ. Because we're not serving a dead religious God. We're not, uh, we're not praying to a rock. We're not praying to a tree. We're not praying to an idol. We are praying to a living God. The same God that created the heavens and the earth. The same God that created all the birds and all the trees and everything that were in it in the world. He created all those things. And he also recreated you. Gave you that opportunity to be born again of his spirit. And today, Jesus himself lives inside of you. Let's read that this morning. It's exciting to know that in this day and age, when things are so upside down in the world, we live in a country in America that's so immoral right now. People that are calling, yeah, people that are calling good bad and people that are calling bad good. People that are calling those righteous people as hypocrites. They're calling those righteous people as bad people. And they're saying anybody that is doing bad stuff, sometimes those people are the ones that are heroes in situations. Everything is upside down. Everything is backwards in the world. Well, Matthew 24 talks about these days, but we're not talking about those days right now. We're talking about the risen Savior today on Easter Sunday. Amen? Let's look in Luke chapter 24, verse 1 today. And he said, Now upon the first day of the week, and very early, very early in the morning, they came unto the sepulcher, bringing the spices which they had prepared, and certain others with them. And they found the stone rolled away from the sepulcher, in verse 2, and they entered in and found not the body of the Lord Jesus. And it came to pass, as they were much perplexed thereabout, behold, two men stood by them in shining garments. And as they, were, as they were afraid and bowed down their faces to the earth, they said unto him, Why seek ye the living among the dead? He's not there, but he's risen. Remember how he spoke unto you while he was yet in Galilee? Saying, The Son of Man must be delivered under the hands of sinful men and be crucified, and third day rise again. And they remembered his words and returned from the sepulcher and told all these things unto the eleven and, all, and to all the rest. It was Mary Magdalene and, jo and, and Joanna and Mary, the mother of, of James and, and other women that were with them, which told these things unto the apostles. And their words seemed to be, it seemed to them as idle takes, as idle tales, as they believed them not. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? God sent these ladies to tell the apostles that Jesus had rose, and they thought it was a myth. They thought they were telling stories. Hmm. Imagine that. And their words seemed to them as idle tales, and they believed not. Then arose Peter and ran unto the sepulchre, and stooping down, he beheld the linen, clothes laid by themselves, and departed wondering in himself that which is to come to pass. Isn't this amazing? That Jesus himself, God himself, became man, walked on this earth for 33 years, was tempted the same way as you and I were, yet without sin, and resisted sin, resisted temptation, right to the very last moment where the ultimate temptation was that those that crucified him, he was still forgiving them. He was still full of grace and mercy. And today, this is an example unto us. The same mercy that he sheds on us, we should shed on one another in the coming days, in the coming weeks, in the coming months for the rest of our lives, even today, during this Sunday morning that he rose from the dead. May God bless your day on this beautiful Easter Sunday. May you give him the glory. May you give him the praise today that he is due. Amen. May God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow morning, Lord willing, 7 a.m. right here in South Florida. Getting ready to go to Haiti in a few weeks. 
We have a lot of people, a lot of operations going down in the need. Pray for us. Go to our website, HaitiForChrist.net. Don't forget to click share, please. Click share. That's so important. But pray for us. Pray for Brother Hubert, uh, Brother Hubert down in the Nips, who is working tirelessly. Uh, we have houses that we see houses that are being built for those that lost their houses during the hurricane or during the um, earthquake last year and also people are having their needs met even this week there was over 120 very old women that were in a remote area that were suffering they received rice they received beans they received oil they received encouragement and pray that someday we can go down there and hold a great crusade and lead many of these people to christ that have found all these things because it's not about the anything on this earth it's all about jesus this same Christ that rose from the dead. And while I'm thinking about it, if just before we uh, say goodbye, I would like to read what is what, because there's always a, a call to action. There's always something that God calls us to do. And uh, the disciples understood this. They finally got it. The apostles finally got it. That this was actually the son of God that he not only died and gave his life for us, but he rose again on the third day. And after he rose again on the third day, they didn't know quite what the next step was. They didn't know what it was. But if you look in the book of Acts, uh, Jesus spoke to them the last time before he ascended up into heaven, and he gave the marching orders. He gave what we would call the call to action, what we're supposed to do, what you and I today in 2022 are called to do. This is why we're still here. I mean, imagine how easy it would be if we were just the day we accept Christ, he'd take us away and we don't have to go through any more temptation. We don't have to go through any hardship. We don't have to go through any more difficult times. That would be great. But he left us on this earth for a reason, not just so we could sit down here and, and, and hang out, but would, he put us here for a reason for such a time as this, to reach out and touch those that are hurting, to set the oppressed free, to break the yoke and bonds on people's lives, to lead people to Christ, which is what Yvonne and I are called to do is lead many Haitians to Christ. That's what we do. That's why we've lived in Haiti 95% of our life for the past 44 years plus. This morning in the book of Acts, Jesus, before he went back up, this is what he said. He said, being assembled together with them in verse 4, chapter 1 of the book of Acts. He said, he, and being assembled together with them, commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem, but wait for the promise of the Father. Saith, saith he, ye have heard of me. And verse 5, that for John truly baptized you with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Ghost not many and many days hence. Therefore, they come together saying, ask him, saying, Lord, what will, when will you restore again the kingdom of Israel to Israel? And he said unto them, it is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father has put in his own power, but you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. And you shall be witnesses unto me in Jerusalem and Judea and Samaria and into the uttermost parts of the earth. My prayer today is that God would use you to lead someone else to him, that you could be used this week, this month, this year, and that you would understand you and I, the call to action that Christ gave us was to lead more people to him. Let's pray. Father, we come before you this morning on this Resurrection Sunday. Use us that same spirit that raised you from the dead, that dwells inside of us, use us today, use us this week, use us this month to bind up the brokenhearted, to set the captives free, to break the yokes upon their lives, the yoke of sin. Lead them to your presence. Lead them to your grace. Lead them to your forgiveness, we pray. In the name of Jesus, amen. May God bless you on your Resurrection Sunday. Don't forget to go to our website, HaitiForChrist.net. Let us know that you're standing with us. We love you. Thank you for clicking share. I'll see you tomorrow morning, Monday morning at 7 a.m. live that we can hear a fresh word from the Lord again in the name of Jesus. God bless you.